You see, we were moving relative to our universe, and then our, our universe destroyed, so now parallel universes, our multiverse, started to move parallel to us, because we were out of alignment mm -hmm. and that just destroyed everything. In recent times, an extraordinary claim has emerged in the realm of science and discovery, centered around the renowned research facility known as CERN. Despite the scientific consensus on CERN's experiment's safety, there is a growing concern among some suggesting imminent danger on the horizon. At the forefront of these unusual beliefs is a remarkably talented child often hailed as the world's smartest kid. This young mind boldly claims that CERN's Large Hadron Collider is poised to unleash a potential gateway to an entirely different dimension. But what specific experiments at CERN have sparked these concerns? And what theories support the notion that the Large Hadron Collider might open a door to another dimension? Come along as we discover insights from the world's smartest kid about an extraordinary upcoming event at CERN. Number 1. The LHC's Surprise Particle Revelations In July of last year, at an expansive underground facility in Meiren, Switzerland, a group of brilliant scientists unearthed three new tiny particles, marking a significant breakthrough in the scientific community. How did they do it? Well, they employed the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a massive circular apparatus equipped with magnets designed to aid in the study of these tiny particles. Before this discovery, there were speculations about the possibility of unexpected phenomena akin to the opening of a magical portal. But guess what? Instead of a portal or something out of a sci-fi movie, these scientists found these three new particles. It wasn't what everyone was expecting, but it was still awesome. The LHC serves as an enormous instrument enabling scientists to explore the smallest particles in existence, essentially providing a window into understanding the fundamental composition of our world. In July, these scientists uncovered three previously unknown components, essentially adding new pieces to the universal puzzle. These three particles weren't mere entities, they were novel, akin to the thrill of discovering unprecedented types of Legos in a collection. It's rather amusing, isn't it? People anticipated a monumental, mind-boggling spectacle, yet what unfolded was remarkable in its unique way. It's akin to attending a party in anticipation of fireworks, only to unexpectedly meet aliens. Okay, maybe not aliens, but you get the idea. Unexpected, but still mind-blowing. The shocking thing about discoveries like this is that they open up new doors for scientists. It's like finding a new path in a maze. They can now explore and learn more about these particles and what they do. And who knows, maybe they will unlock even more secrets about the universe. The LHC has been like this giant magnet for curiosity and sometimes worry for a while now. Even during the planning stages, there were concerns among some individuals that the experiments might lead to the creation of a black hole or other potentially unpredictable phenomena. There was this Italian scientist, Francesco Calogero, who got everybody talking back in 2000. He wrote this essay asking if the LHC could accidentally wipe out Earth. Imagine that. People were seriously wondering if this machine might accidentally bring on doomsday. And you know what? It got pretty wild. In 2009, there was this individual on The Daily Show named John Oliver, who talked to a teacher. This teacher thought the LHC had a 50-50 shot at creating a black hole that'd swallow us all. But of course, there were the actual scientists from CERN who came in to keep everyone under control. They weren't as funny as Oliver, but they were way more reassuring. See, there's been this whole thing about whether the LHC could make these black holes. So far, though, no one's seen any, and Earth's still spinning in 2011, so that's a relief. Here's the thing. Some experts said in 2011 that if these tiny black holes were made, they'd just float around harmlessly, not bothering anyone. It's like having many black holes out there that are more interested in just roaming freely than causing chaos. So while there's still a bit of uncertainty about whether this mega machine could make these tiny black holes... Earth's doing just fine. 
and those black holes, if they're even real, seem to be minding their own business, not causing any trouble. So maybe it's like having some shy, cosmic neighbors who just want to hang out without causing a stir. Number 2. Max Laughlin's Concerns About CERN's Experiments Recently, a new voice has emerged in the conversation about CERN, and it's grabbing attention worldwide. Meet Max Laughlin, a name you might have heard before. He's known as one of the smartest young minds globally, and he has notable insights on the Large Hadron Collider. Now, Max isn't your typical smart person stereotype. He gained a ton of recognition for blowing people's minds with his deep insights into how our world ticks and how we, as humans, fit into the grand scheme of the universe. But here's the kicker. Max isn't just sharing facts anymore. Nope. He's sounding the alarm bells. He's publicly discussed his concerns about the LHC, even creating videos to share his thoughts. What's grabbing attention? Portals. That's right. He suggests that scientists at CERN might have opened one, and he's dead serious about it, not just floating a wild theory. This isn't a casual pondering. He genuinely worries about the consequences of this alleged portal. He's signaling a major concern, warning that what's unlocked might not be entirely positive. Max, recognized for his remarkable insights, suddenly shifted gears, cautioning that we might have stirred up something complex. That's the vibe he's putting out. But he isn't just talking for the sake of it. He's posing serious questions that even experts find puzzling. It's unusual for someone this astute to question one of the world's most advanced scientific facilities. While Max might seem like a doomsday prophet, the science bigwigs are taking note. His revelations have sparked a frenzy of investigation to determine their validity. At only 13, Max is more than a thinker. He's an inventor making significant strides. Imagine creating a free energy machine at that age, poised to transform global living. That's the level of genius we're discussing here. Since then, he has delved into the mysteries of the universe. He's not your typical teenager. He's exploring the boundaries of reality, delving into parallel universes, and stirring up some truly mind-bending ideas. His theories aren't mundane. He is proposing mind-boggling concepts, suggesting that CERN's experiments might go beyond particles and collide with the very foundation of our existence. That's not your everyday conversation? He believes that these experiments, particularly at the Large Hadron Collider, could open doors to parallel realities. These realities might resemble ours, but differ in subtle yet significant ways. His reasoning? These CERN scientists are replicating conditions akin to the Big Bang, manipulating subatomic particles to mimic the universe's birth. They're essentially playing cosmic billiards with the smallest elements of everything. It might sound like science fiction, but he isn't weaving a tale. He's linking his ideas to past experiments conducted by the European Organization for Nuclear Research. They've dabbled in mind-bending concepts and he is connecting the dots between their experiments and the potential for a reality-altering revelation. It's not just about colliding particles, it's about the potential for something monumental. Whether you agree with his ideas or not, he's on to something that has everyone pondering and re-evaluating what might be uncovered through these immense experiments. Number 3. The Mandela Effect and Multiverse Conundrum Max's perspective on the Large Hadron Collider experiments reads like an edge-of-your-seat thriller. He suggests these experiments might have fractured our universe, a notion reminiscent of a sci-fi blockbuster. He delves into the concept of a multiverse, a vast expanse teeming with countless parallel universes, each offering infinite possibilities. He proposes that we once traveled along a single timeline until something went awry during those experiments propelling us into an endless array of parallel universes. Consider this. Our reality isn't fixed, but in constant flux, shifting between universes within an infinite continuum of possibilities. It's akin to flipping through channels on a cosmic TV, with each channel representing a distinct reality. What's even more captivating is his speculation that scientists at CERN 
might have detected this anomaly in space-time. Astonishingly, they might have attempted to intervene and manipulate things. Picture someone realizing they accidentally disrupted the universe's order and then trying to restore it. This isn't your run-of-the-mill science discourse. It challenges the very essence of our understanding of reality. And here's the twist. Max isn't conjuring this narrative from thin air. He's drawing connections from reports hinting at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, exploring the creation of portals and meddling with inter-universe connections. It's a shift from discussing mere particle collisions to contemplating whether we inadvertently stumbled into a labyrinth of alternate realities. Whether or not you embrace his theories, they're the kind of mind-boggling concepts that keep you on the edge of your seat, pondering the depth of the unknown. His explorations extend beyond portals and CERN. He ventures deeper into neighboring universes and the Mandela Effect. Hold on tight, because things are about to get even more intriguing. Max entertains the idea that the Large Hadron Collider might have caused a substantial shift in humanity, propelling us into an entirely new universe. And where does the Mandela Effect intersect with this concept? Well, he connects the dots between opening portals at CERN and the notion of neighboring universes and weaves it into the mind-boggling idea of the Mandela Effect. Let's simplify the Mandela Effect. It's like a collective misremembering of events on a large scale, a sort of group-wide illusion. The term was coined by Fiona Broom in 2009. She noticed that many people remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, despite his actual passing in 2013 after his presidency. Now, here's the intriguing part. Despite clear facts, a significant number of people vividly recall news coverage, speeches by Mandela's widow, and other details about his 80s death. This phenomenon, where many remember events that never happened, is what's known as the Mandela Effect. So, how does it tie in? Max views the Mandela Effect not as a quirk of our brains, but as potential evidence of us residing in a parallel universe, different from our original one. He links it back to the bold theories about the LHC and its potential to disrupt our reality's fabric. It's as if he is suggesting, remember those strange instances when many remembered events that didn't occur. That might indicate we've shifted into a different universe, perhaps due to experiments at CERN. This isn't your average theory. It challenges your perceptions and prompts you to reconsider reality as you know it. He paints a picture of us existing in an alternate version of our universe, stemming from experiments at the LHC. While some might find Max's ideas unconventional, there's no denying his talent for crafting theories that stretch your imagination. And who knows? Perhaps there's more to the Mandela effect than meets the eye, intertwined with the astonishing possibilities of neighboring universes. Number 4. Debunking the Myths and Embracing the Mysteries there's a lot of worry swirling around when it comes to the LHC. It's not just Max stirring the pot with his theories. There's been a history of concern about the potential risks of using this groundbreaking technology. There have even been attempts, though unsuccessful ones, to file lawsuits against CERN, all because of worries about public safety. So what's got everyone on edge? Well, there are a couple of big concerns hanging over the LHC. First up, there's the talk about microscopic black holes. Now, don't go picturing some sci-fi catastrophe just yet. The idea here is that the LHC aims to create these teensy-weensy black holes to unlock secrets about how the universe began, you know, like peering back to the Big Bang. But for folks not knee-deep in the technical stuff, this might sound like a red flag. Then, there's the whole concept of strange matter. Yeah, it sounds straight out of a comic book, but bear with me. Some experts worry that the high-energy experiments at the LHC might cook up something called strangelets, a hypothetical substance made of strange matter. And why is that a worry? Well, because these strangelets could potentially mess with the stuff here on Earth. We're talking about affecting regular, everyday materials. Now here's the catch. Strange matter is just a theory for now. We haven't seen it kicking around in space where high-energy particles naturally do their thing. 
It's all ideas on paper at this point, not something we've spotted out there in the universe. So, should we be losing sleep over the LHC causing some catastrophic event? That's the big question. And honestly, it's a tough one. On one hand, the experiments sound pretty wild to someone without a degree in physics. But on the other, these concerns are based on hypotheticals. Things we think could happen, but haven't seen happening. It's a classic case of balancing excitement about groundbreaking discoveries with worries about what might go wrong. Scientists and experts are keeping a close eye on it, constantly checking and rechecking to make sure we're not accidentally hitting any danger buttons. While it's natural to have concerns about the unknown, the truth is, we're still in the realm of theories and possibilities. But hey, it's good that people are asking these questions and making sure we're treading carefully as we explore the mysteries of the universe with this incredible machine. Over the years, the LHC has not only sparked scientific curiosity, but also fueled a fair share of fears, both in real life and in the realm of fiction. Remember Dan Brown's Angels and Demons from 2000? That thriller had CERN in the spotlight, with the Illuminati aiming to swipe antimatter to cause some serious trouble for the Pope. More recently, the Netflix hit Stranger Things revisited the idea that our pursuit of knowledge and power could lead to some seriously spooky forces coming from another dimension. Now here's the thing. Those are all gripping tales cooked up by imaginative minds. They're stories, pure fiction. And you know what else falls into that category? A bunch of theories swirling around on the internet about the LHC. It's important to take a step back and recognize that while these ideas might spark some thrilling thoughts, they're not grounded in the same reality as, say, the laws of physics. If you're feeling a tad skeptical about all this, take a gander at what CERN itself has to say about safety. Their take? The LHC can reach energies that no other particle accelerator has hit before. But here's the kicker. Nature's been casually tossing around even higher energies in cosmic ray collisions. Yeah, that's right. The kind of stuff that happens out there in space. CERN's statement points out that whatever the LHC might do, nature's already been doing it countless times over the lifespan of Earth and other celestial bodies. It's like saying, hey, whatever experiments we're running here, nature's been the master of this game for ages. And here's a nugget of wisdom to chew on. If there were any real substantial risks tied to the LHC, chances are we would have seen some signs of trouble by now. The LHC has been firing up for a while, and we're still here, aren't we? While it's normal to have some concerns about big, mind-bending science experiments, it's essential to sift through what's fact, what's fiction, and what's just the wild musings of an imaginative mind. And when it comes to the LHC, it seems like the real deal is more about unlocking mysteries of the universe than summoning spooky, otherworldly forces. Number 5. The Extraordinary Journey of the Large Hadron Collider The Large Hadron Collider is a huge success in science. It's the top particle collider out there. It was thought up and built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research from 1988 to 2008. This incredible project shows how countries around the world worked together. More than 10,000 scientists, lots of universities, and many labs from over 100 countries helped make it happen. The LHC sits underground beneath the France-Switzerland border close to Geneva. It's in a tunnel that's 27 kilometers long and goes down 175 meters below ground. This monster machine started zooming particles around in 2010, making them crash into each other at fast speeds. When these particles smash into each other, they break apart into even tinier pieces. Scientists have set up seven detectors to catch and study these tiny bits flying out from the collisions. What's the big deal with all this smashing and crashing? Well, scientists want to test their ideas about how the universe works. They're especially curious about something called the Higgs boson and other new particles they think exist based on some fancy theories. Imagine the LHC as a high-tech detective trying to solve the mysteries of the universe. 
By studying these collisions, scientists hope to understand how things like atoms and molecules are put together and why they behave the way they do. But building this scientific wonderland wasn't easy or cheap. It cost about 7.5 billion euros. That's a lot of money, but scientists believe it's worth it for the discoveries that could change how we see the world. The LHC isn't just about smashing particles. It's also pretty cleverly designed. It's underground to shield it from radiation, and the tunnel's depth varies, like a roller coaster ride, going from 50 to 175 meters below the surface. And here's the interesting part. The LHC doesn't just make discoveries. It generates loads and loads of data. To handle all this info, scientists created something called the computing grid. It's like a massive internet connection that links computers from all over the world to process the tons of data the LHC generates. So what have they discovered? Well, they've confirmed the existence of the Higgs boson, which was a huge deal in physics. But there's still lots more to learn. Number six, the Higgs boson revelation. The LHC marked a crucial moment in scientific history by uncovering some mind-boggling discoveries. One of the most significant findings was the detection of something called the Higgs boson. This tiny particle holds huge importance in the world of physics, and its story goes way back to the 1960s. A smart guy named Peter Higgs from Britain had this bold idea in 1968. He was trying to figure out why particles have mass. Imagine particles as tiny building blocks of everything around us. They get their mass from energy stored within even smaller parts, like quarks and gluons. But there was a puzzle. How do bosons, which control weak forces and how atoms break down, get their mass? Peter Higgs had this creative thought. He suggested that as particles move through space, they bump into something like a thick, syrupy substance called the Higgs field. It's like walking through shallow water. The more steps you take, the harder it gets. Other scientists found this idea intriguing and, as a funny nickname, called both the field and the particle the God particle. Eventually, the Higgs boson became a key part of the standard model of physics, which is like a big rule book for how things work in the universe. The LHC was crucial in making this discovery. It's this huge machine that smashes protons together really hard. By doing this, scientists could create ripples in the Higgs field and hopefully reveal the Higgs boson. And voila, on July 4, 2012, teams at CERN announced they'd found the Higgs boson. Here's the wild part. This little particle is heavy, around 130 times the mass of a proton. It suggests that even when things seem harmless, the Higgs field is very strong, kind of like still being connected to the internet even when the Wi-Fi router is off. Now, this discovery wasn't just about a tiny particle. It gave us a big idea about the universe. It told us that space isn't empty. It's filled with this Higgs field. This field holds a lot of energy, sort of like an invisible background buzz. But here's the kicker. Experiments in the LHC might affect the way the universe works. By studying these particles, scientists might unknowingly change things on a cosmic level. It's a bit mind-bending to think that our experiments here on Earth could impact the whole cosmos, right? Number seven, the looming black hole risk of the LHC. The Large Hadron Collider was never meant to create black holes. But when you're dealing with particle physics and smashing protons together at high speeds, some experts got worried it might happen. The LHC was a big deal. Built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research to explore tiny particles and understand how the universe works. Before the LHC, Experiments in the late 60s showed us quarks inside protons, and that led to the LHC's creation, a massive project costing a whopping $9 billion. This thing is huge, a 27-kilometer tunnel packed with about 10,000 fancy magnets kept ultra-cold. The LHC speeds up proton beams close to the speed of light and smashes them together at energy levels way higher than before. To put it in perspective, 
the energy used for these collisions is way less than what it takes to lift a simple cup of coffee. But, as they started building this giant machine near Geneva back in 88, some smart people started worrying. One big-shot astrophysicist named Martin Rees thought that when particles collide at such crazy speeds, they might create tiny black holes called quantum black holes. Stephen Hawking, another big brain, said not to worry that the LHC's energy was way too low for that. The argument boiled down to whether the collision energy at the LHC was enough to make these quantum black holes that could maybe gobble up the Earth. The usual physics model said no way, but Reese and some other theories said it might be possible if the energy thresholds were higher than people thought. It got really exciting in the media recently when there was talk about the sudden appearance of a quantum black hole close to Geneva. The story went wild, saying Europe vanished in a flash, replaced by a teeny black hole about three centimeters wide. But hold on, according to the most accepted scientific theories, these quantum black holes aren't powerful enough to swallow stuff. Instead, they disappear in a flash, releasing something called Hawking radiation. Number eight, the curious case of strange matter. Experiments at the Large Hadron Collider could have a big impact, not just here on Earth, but even on distant stars. Astronomers found this strange neutron star far away that's puzzling everyone. They think it might be a whole new kind of star. At CERN, scientists are curious about something called strange matter. It's this interesting substance that could form when quarks come together in certain situations. It's dense but needs very little energy. But hold on. A scientist named Martin Rees has a warning. He says strange matter might make these tiny things called strangelets that could spread and turn nearby stuff into something dense, maybe even changing how big Earth is. It's like a red flag based on what we've learned before about strange stars. Reese's caution is pretty serious, and it's kind of like when people were doubtful about strange stars in the past. Some even talk about stories where the LHC might have caused big problems in the past, but these are just guesses. That's why it's so important to keep an open mind and think carefully about what might happen. Being careful now could help us avoid surprises later on. The LHC is all about recreating the intense conditions from when the universe started, you know, the Big Bang. Physicists are trying to copy that mind-blowing explosion right here on Earth. They're curious about the crazy stuff that happened right at the beginning of everything. Right after the Big Bang went boom, there was this mind-bogglingly hot thing called quark-gluon plasma. It was way hotter than the center of our sun. And guess what? Scientists are trying to make that same crazy hot stuff in the LHC, especially with this thing called the Alice Experiment. So in this mega machine, they shoot these huge atoms made of lead fast, almost at the speed of light. And when these atoms crash into each other, it's like an epic collision from a hero movie. They started doing this back in 2010, and by May of the next year, the Alice team shouted out loud that they made quark-gluon plasma. It was a big win for them. But here's the thing. This plasma they made was like a shooting star. It flashed and disappeared quickly. It didn't stick around long enough to do much. Sadly, it just made short bursts of energy from a few atoms. So, making a whole new Big Bang on Earth? Nope, that's not happening. But hey, even though they didn't create another Big Bang, these collisions in the LHC could still uncover some seriously terrifying stuff from when the universe was just a baby. And that stuff might shake things up at the smallest, tiniest levels of atoms. It's like digging deeper into the secrets of how everything began, way beyond just the huge explosion of the Big Bang. Number 9. The LHC's Energy Quest and Environmental Responsibility CERN heavily relies on energy, particularly for its vital experiments with subatomic particles. However, recent energy shortages due to the conflict in Ukraine are affecting not only households and businesses, but also institutions like CERN. To power their experiments, CERN demands an amount comparable to that of a small city. 
Their Large Hadron Collider accounts for roughly half of CERN's energy consumption. Traditionally, during winter when energy demands rise, CERN pauses the collider to alleviate strain on the power grid. Yet, given the ongoing energy scarcity, CERN is intensifying efforts to reduce its energy usage. There's even a possibility that they might halt machine operations if sufficient power isn't available in France or Europe. Some experiments at CERN rely on energy-efficient practices. However, due to the current energy-saving initiatives, these experiments might experience a delay. Nevertheless, scientists remain optimistic, believing that despite the potential delay, they'll amass substantial and valuable data by the year 2025. Number 10. Unveiling Tomorrow's Particle Acceleration Frontier Now, the LHC has an expiration date, so to speak. It's slated to wrap up its mission around 2040. But fear not, because the global particle physics gang is already looking ahead. Their eyes are set on something even grander. The Future Circular Collider, FCC. This thing is like the LHC's futuristic cousin. Picture a tunnel about 91 kilometers long, circling like a giant science racetrack. It's set to delve deep into French and Swiss territories, even sneaking beneath Lake Geneva. Why all the fuss about the FCC, you ask? Well, the big brains behind European particle physics have given it a massive thumbs up. In their 2020 strategy update, they said, yes, the FCC is the one. They've tagged it as the most promising candidate to take over from the existing facilities. Now, here's where CERN steps into the spotlight. They've been handed the reins, entrusted by their member states, to dive into a thorough feasibility study for the FCC, starting in 2028. This study is the biggie. It'll determine if the FCC is a go or a no-go. And depending on what they find, the member states will make the final call. That includes the whole shebang, from planning to potentially firing up the FCC sometime in the 2040s. So, while the LHC is rocking the science world right now, its successor, the FCC, is gearing up to take particle physics to even greater heights. It's like swapping out your trusty old car for a sleek, turbocharged, science fiction-worthy upgrade. And CERN's got its eyes set firmly on the future, ready to unlock more mysteries of the universe. How much faith do you have in the ability of scientific advancements at CERN to change the world? Share your thoughts in the comments below.